everyone, welcome back to Howtex. Today we have an Apple iPhone XS Max, and we're gonna show you how to change the ringtones. And obviously this applies to the XS as well, and it's actually the same on the 10 and many other types of modern iPhones, but specifically for the XS Max, let's show you. So you wanna to go to the settings menu, uh, which is the gear, click on this, and you wanna look for sound and haptics. And now you have ringtone under sounds and vibration patterns, and here's all the built-in ones. So you can just choose whichever one you like. Okay, that's a little long. So uh, you also have the option of going to the tone store and basically buying a different tone. Uh, and you can also set the vibration pattern here. So you can either do, you know, accent, heartbeat. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but basically those are vibrating the uh, table that this phone is on right now. Uh, and then you can also do a custom one. So that's an option. Uh, in here, there's also the classic ones. So these are really your old school, you know, iPhone 3 level of ones like the quacking duck, etc. So uh, you also have a choice of alert tones. So these are usually used for like tone, uh, text tones, but you can use them as ringtones as well. So not only can you select the ringtone, but you can also set the text tone and the voicemail tone and the calendar tone, et cetera. So there's all kinds of choices here, even airdrop tone. So let's look at the text tones. So now you have, those are those alert tones that we saw before, but you can actually also apply a ringtone as well. So uh, that might be overkill every time you get a text message, but it's up to you. And again, you can go to the tone store if you would like, and you can also adjust the vibration pattern. So that's the basics on setting the overall tones for the phone. One interesting thing to note is uh, it doesn't give you a choice for selecting separate ringtones for the two SIM cards. That's something that's common on a lot of Android phones that have dual SIMs, but for some reason the iPhone does not yet have that. I'm sure they will add that eventually uh, because that's actually super useful. Sometimes you, uh, you, know, you wanna have your business line and your personal line in one phone and you wanna be able to quickly differentiate from the ringtone which one is which so that you know to pick up or not. Uh, but basically, it's not given as an option here. So that's definitely an oversight that I'm sure they will address in an upcoming revision of iOS. There's also an option to set a specific ringtone for a specific contact if they call you. So in our case, let's go to the contacts, which you can either find here in this kind of little gray book icon or just go to your phone and then click on contacts. And here we see we have one contact in here, Mr. Joe Blow, and you can actually set a ringtone just for this guy. So when he calls you, you know exactly who's calling you. So to do that, you go to edit, and then you wanna go to ringtone, and you can select a specific ringtone. And you also have a couple other options related to ringtone. So basically you can set a specific vibration pattern. You can actually buy a tone through the tone store, and you can also do an emergency bypass, which basically, uh, allows this person to sort of override your do not disturb mode. So if it's like, you know, your emergency contact or it's your mom and you don't want to have her uh, have to wait till tomorrow to talk to you. So uh, you can always switch that on as well. And we have all the choices here for the alert tones and the ringtones. Okay, so that's basically it for setting a custom ringtone as well as assigning the ringtone for the phone. And just a matter of time before they figure out to do dual ringtones for the dual sims, I'm sure. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Uh, do you think it's an oversight or is it just proof that Apple doesn't have their stuff together? Okay, so leave a comment and let me know what you think. Definitely check out our other how-to videos for the Apple iPhone 10s and 10s Max uh, here on Howtex and give us a like and a thumbs up. See you guys later, bye. Today we have an iPhone 10s Max I'm going to show you how to insert and remove SIM cards. As you can see, we have two SIM cards, and this is the Hong Kong edition of the phone.